Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these stars with dowels from Dollar Tree as well as one of their oval plaques. I took the three stars, painted the backs and sides of them with plaster chalk paint by Waverly, and I gave those two coats. The fronts of them I left plain. The dowels I covered with home decor wax, brushing on the wax, and then blending it with a baby wipe. Next, I place the stars next to each other with one in the center up higher than the two on the sides. I measured the distance between the outer dowels and then I measured the distance between the center and the edge one. I took those measurements and put them on to the plaque. And the measurements I started about an inch in from either end of the plaque. The distance between the outer two dowels is four and a half inches. The distance between the outer and center is two and a quarter inches. I then took a three eighths drill bit and drilled down in those markings. It was moving around like crazy on me, but I got the job done. I ended up putting down another piece of wood just to make sure I didn't go through onto my desk. And then I took a small nail file and just sanded down in between all of those holes to get all the excess wood pieces off. And then took the same wax by Home Decor and brushed on the entire plaque, blending it in with a baby wipe. And then I took this scrapbook paper, which I believe I got from Amazon, and I held up the stars over a section I wanted to use for each one. And it would be hard to trace it out, getting the precise picture that I wanted on the front. So I just cut a large section of each design I wanted, added Mod Podge to the blank part of the star, placed down my scrapbook paper. I did that to all three of them. took my parchment paper, placed it over the scrapbook paper, and used my travel iron to smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles and dry the Mod Podge. Once that was dry, I trimmed up a bunch of the excess scrapbook paper. I then added Mod Podge and brushed on an outer layer covering all the scrapbook paper and used my heating tool to dry it. Once they were dry, I took a nail file and sanded off any excess scrapbook paper that was still left on there. I then took these stamps I get from Hobby Lobby, put some black ink on them, and place down the letters USA, one on each star. Then I took the one that has the S on it, that's the center one, trimmed up about an inch on the dowel, placed them up against each other with the U and the A down lower, marked off where they meet that center dowel, and trimmed those down. And I'm using Fisker's pruners to cut those dowels. And then take white and red raffia, which I get from Amazon, make some large loops, and then I take fabrics, crisscross them back and forth, 
add the raffia on top. And then in the center, I take another piece of my fabric and tie it in the center and tie it in a knot, leaving that piece long. And then I cut those loops on the raffia on both sides. Take that piece that I had tied the center with, that I had left long, and on the star with the S, I wrap it around the top of the dowel and tie it in a couple knots and trim up the excess. I then take the raffia again, make a couple large loops, and wrap those loops around the dowels with the U and the A. Then I take hot glue and put some on the top of the dowel and slide that raffia up onto the glue just to hold it into place. I trim up the loops on those ones as well and kind of scrunch up the raffia so it's not so straight. I add hot glue into the end pieces of the plaque, so the end little holes I made, and add my U and my A into those. Just place them down in the holes with the hot glue. And then I add the hot glue in the center and place down the star with the S. And that's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching.